What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to continue to make some pure copper boolean bars. Pretty much pick up where we left off last video. These have been uh, marinating for five days straight. Haven't touched them. Not one bit. And I've been racking my brain because, you know, these are growing so, so differently. You know, this, this bucket, it's like these little clumped up little nuggets and they're it's like a softer crystal so i can just kind of knock it off with my thumb and i can get the bulk of it off the wire so i can use the same negative terminal it seems like indefinitely this one uh, i get these trees that shoot out and uh it seems to be a much harder you know copper crystal and this one seems to grow faster than this one but with that said, I think the fluid in this one gets dirtier faster than this one. I don't know how that's possible. I'm just, just an observation. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, but I think I figured out what the difference is, you know, because I tried swapping power supplies. It's the same bucket. It's the same everything, except for the copper sulfate. So this bucket, the original one, I used copper sulfate root killer from Home Depot which is 99% pure and 1% other this one I use 99.9 .9, so an extra 9% pure copper sulfate powder which is just copper sulfate crystals ground up into a powder so and I'm getting new differences here so I don't know what that uh what the extra special sauce is so this is the copper sulfate powder growth. You can see they're really fat little clumped up little nugs. And look, some of them, just by the weight of them, yeah, they just they just come right off. Comes right off. Sort of an advantage. That it just breaks off nice and easy. Alright, the way up for uh, copper sulfate powder. Minus 0.5 for the dish, 2.1 pounds. And this is the growth of the, uh, the second one here. The Home Depot Roots Killer Copper Sulfate. And I noticed on, on this one, the wire looks pretty uh, bright. If you look at the other wire, it's turning purple at the core and it's been like that it's not like it's just started to happen it's been like that for a while just subtle differences i guess and these big ones obviously you know some of these big ones will break off but when you get down to the core of the wire it is like it's so different on this one for whatever reason well i was uh i was not expecting this so Yeah, minus 0.5 for the for the bin for the, the bowl. This this one's producing more than this one. It's so deceiving, man, because this one they they shoot out and they grow like and they look big, but they're really just kind of spread out and thin. I guess they're not like really really close clumped up nuggets like this one. I don't know. There's there's a slight difference though between the copper sulfate solutions. And it would make sense if this one's getting, you know, cloudier faster is because it's uh it's producing more. So I think as this one starts to evaporate, instead of just adding straight water to it, I might add some of the copper sulfate powder. Uh, mixed up which I already have some mixed up here uh, I'm gonna start adding that to that and see if we can get these Sort of on the same page. You know what I mean? Well guys today is a uh, mr. Duke's birthday He's officially one years old It's officially a big boy now June 6th 
he was born. And guess what he caught today? For his birthday. I tried to get a picture, but it thing was fast, man. There was a little baby chipmunk now. We went from birds, uh, now a chipmunk running around. And uh, the other day, I mean, I've never seen anything like this in my life, guys. I swear to God. He doesn't kill them. He just, I don't know, likes to play with them. I was outside the other day. I come walking around the corner. And there's Duke just laying there next to a white mouse that was alive it wasn't running away they were both just sitting there i was like you have got to be kidding me i have i have never like he is a he's something special <laughs> he's he's a he's a special kitty he is okay so hey Looks like he caught me uh, another present. Well, thank you. If you get blood on my rugs, Duke, I, I shit you not, dude. So I wanted to mention also that uh, I really, really appreciated all of the uh, good comments, nice comments in the in the last video. A lot of uh, really good ideas. You know, like making these into a lollipop shape. Then by the end, you'd just be left with a little stick. I mean, that'd be cool if I could find uh, an ingot mold, you know, already made like that, that was the perfect size. Like, I, I don't want to get into sand casting and all of that, because uh, this is just a small hobby, you know what I mean? I work uh, six days a week at least, last weekend, six and a half days. So, you know, getting after it, trying to, trying to get ahead here a little bit. And plus, you know, I, I've kind of already, uh, I've already invested 400 bucks and I know uh, one of you was trying to steer me towards Sri Tips' videos um, and, and I have bought like a couple of those uh, those fine uh, mesh bags to try to capture some of the the gunk and make it, the, the filtering process a little bit easier but I can't find one that's uh, big enough you know and I just had a, a case where one of these bars so I, I just filtered the fluids in this one yesterday. I had a pile at the bottom so big that the bars were down in the muck. And the bottom of the bar that was down in the muck was not dissolving. Only the middle of the bar was. So if I, if I get one of those micron bags and it's too tight and that there's not enough room for that muck to fall away, I, I think it will really slow things down. Uh, and, and plus, you know, I, I don't know that I necessarily need to scale up. I don't really think I can right now with, with these power supplies. They're kind of maxed out. If I put another bar in there, I won't be running at 7 volts. It just, it won't handle it. And I kind of already have like 400 bucks invested in this between the pumps, the glassware, and that's not even including the forge. So, I mean, at this point, I really don't want to invest too much more money. I don't, I don't think this is going to take too long. Uh, it, these bars have only been in here, this is their second week, and they're almost done. So it's like every two weeks, I'm getting four of these bars pretty much all, almost all the way dissolved. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. That's, that's not bad. And honestly, I'm hoping by the time I get through all of this that I can replenish my, my copper supply fast enough. I mean, if I had a revolving door of copper, absolutely I would scale up. But I don't, you know? I have like six month dry spells where I won't get a drop of it. And honestly, guys, I can see the day. I can see it happening already. You know, as the, as the copper price goes up, uh, I don't think we're going to be finding as much copper as we're used to, you know, because, I mean, they used to use copper a lot in, in house, like building houses with the pipes and, and the drains and like, you know, copper was a lot thicker. Uh, but, you know, every, every job that I'm doing, plumbing job, I'm ripping out the copper and we're putting plastic back in. We're replacing things with plastic, something less expensive and faster, you know what I mean? 
and plus you know as as the copper price goes up i've already noticed i've already noticed this with air conditioners the ac coil the copper that's in those coils is paper paper thin and also i've been opening compressor motors for a while sometimes you get copper but a lot of times i'm finding aluminum aluminum motor windings so as the copper price goes up it's going to become too expensive to use copper and they're going to try to find other materials to get the job done so that they can sell the product to people you know what i mean and plus as the price goes up so is your competition <laughs> I've, I've noticed that at work i like I, i've been doing this for years even when even when copper was at like two bucks a dollar 98 i was still going into like the, the trash can at work and I'd pull out a little piece of wire and I was always doing it. The guys at work were looking at me like I was crazy. You know what I mean? But son of a bitch, they figured it out. So I noticed the guys at work, they now have a bin in their truck. Like, and they've been, every time they find copper, and they, they know if I get to the job and there's any scrap copper laying around, it is gone. So yeah, my competition has, uh, has increased as well. So... Yeah, I just don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna need to scale up. That's that's what I'm getting at. I think uh, I think I should be good. And on the uh, on the micron bags, right? I did order a couple more that look like they might work. I was trying to find one big enough that I could do like this whole half kind of thing, but I'm having a hard time. I found one that was for uh, uh, for doing alcohol. I don't know if it's fine enough for this application we'll see but i figured we're gonna try something new and see if it works because i noticed yesterday right when i filtered this out before i touched it like i can it's crystal clear blue i can see the bottom and that's what it looked like yesterday right same as this one it's crystal clear blue i can see the bottom but i can also see the massive pile of muck right there huge pile but i think from the action of me picking it up carrying it out into my kitchen and trying to pour off the tops all i'm doing is just stirring it all up and creating a huge mess for myself to have to vacuum filter so i found an inexpensive way that i don't have to i want to see if it works because obviously those micron bags are going to have to be replaced and it's another reoccurring cost that you'll have to keep buying those but i grabbed this little this was 10 bucks 10 bucks it's a little hand pump so i'm thinking i can stick this in here and hand pump the fluids into that bucket without even having to move it so i should be able to get the bulk of it out not move it and not create a bigger mess for myself and hopefully the filtering process is an absolute breeze this go around all right let's try this baby out i have been adding i put a brand new wire and this one and i've been adding the copper sulfate powder solution to this one and uh, in a couple more days I'm gonna to try to harvest and see if this one is starting to act more like that one. I hope so. Cause that wire I haven't had to change once. This one I've had to change like three or four times now. All right, let's see. I think it's this end that goes in there. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Oh, but I see a problem. This is cut on an angle. Uh, I might have to cut this. Yeah. I'm going to cut that straight, I think. Well, let's pump it down first. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, this is... Look how, look how blue that is. So I was able to get most of it out, but because this thing was cut on an extreme angle, uh, you can't get the rest of the bottom. So 
I cut it off square but I left you see that little like that little indentation there I left that so I could stick this right to the bottom and I wouldn't get like a suction it would be impossible for me to just to the bottom of the bucket so let's see if we can get the rest of this out all right look at that I got just about every last bit of it out and look at the muck piles down at the bottom they stayed right there yeah look at those bars I mean this is only two weeks almost two weeks they're almost gone so I mean if we're doing four bars dissolving four of these bars every around two weeks that is uh yeah plenty fast for me dude now we're cooking with grease home skillet i just filled this thing up eight times eight cups and it's still ripping i mean it's starting to slow down a little bit but oh yeah she's still going man probably go through like one or two filters tops long day murdering birds Duke yeah long day tough life he's got uh, but yeah that that went well <laughs> that went really well uh, two filters instead of eight and instead of an hour to do one it took me 20 minutes and that includes putting it back f you know filling everything up putting another gallon on the distiller ready to go I, I yeah I don't know I feel like we've got this uh, pretty dialed in now so every single morning Duke's been waking me up earlier and earlier he started at 5 then it went to 4 30 and now it's 4 a.m. he comes in there and wakes me up because he wants to go outside so he's sleeping we're gonna go repay the favor How do you like it? Pretty annoying, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Duke. Oh, guys, don't you love when it's rent day and one of your tenants tells you that they threw the rent in the trash? Yes. We were at the car wash and my girlfriend by accidentally threw the rent in the trash. And we figured it out once we were already gone so we quickly called the car wash to ask them if there was money in the trash. But they said once it's in the trash, it's public property. And we went back and it was gone. Oops. You know, I, I might have been born at night, but not last night. Come on. You know, it just it shows you the level of, uh, I mean, I, I could have come up with a way better excuse, honestly. And if that's the truth, if that's the God's honest truth, that they by accidentally threw the money away. First off, you're throwing it into the trash can at a car wash where people are probably making minimum wage. You leave and then you call these said people and say, hey, there's a golden ticket in the trash can. Can you go check for me? I mean, that just makes you look really, really stupid. Either way, that excuse is stupid. And yeah, it's just that makes you look not very smart at all. And then the next day, the very next day, I get a text and it's like, hey, can you please ask the kids next door to stop riding their bikes up and down the driveway because they're putting handle mar handlebar marks on my car. And, and we have $25,000 invested into this car and I, ca I can't afford to to have the, the, the paint fixed. And I'm like, yeah. I felt like saying, you know, uh, I'm glad you, you're starting to feel my pain because I have $50,000 invested into a house and I have a tenant who's not paying. You know, making making me risk losing it. So, yeah, now, now that we're on the same page, 
I mean, that's that's just ridiculous, man. People are, people are nuts sometimes. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. We all know where that's leading. It's the perks of a, you know, multifamily house, I guess, sometimes. But, uh, you know, it's temporary, and we always have to look for the uh, positive things in life to keep ourselves sane. <laughs> Which, <laughs> this is running beautifully right now. But I do see why you guys were kind of leaving suggestions and ideas because I, I, I was. I was making big mistakes. I was making big mistakes and I probably could have saved myself a few bucks. But I'm, I'm pretty hard-headed. You know what I mean? I like to uh, do things, experiment, fail, learn, and fix things. And succeed after a little struggle. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I, I do have this dialed in pretty good right now uh, I just I just changed over the bars this morning because uh, voltages were spiking man I mean it was spiking and growth really started to slow down to nothing because there there wasn't much left except for one bar had a bit of meat on it but it's too hard to put like a you know three quarters of the way done bar next to a full one so those will just be saved uh, but if I have any suggestions or, you know, if I have any ideas, like if, if any of you guys are trying to actually do this uh, orange Home Depot bucket purification method at home, these are the only suggestions that I, that I could make, right? Uh, is I have been adding this copper sulfate seed ranch, 99.9% .9 pure copper sulfate powder into here. And it has made a difference. Like slowly, it's making a difference. Uh, but if by the next time I filter fluids, if it's not exactly on point with this one, I'm going to drain all that fluid off, go use it somewhere for something else, and uh, add this stuff in. And I don't know what the difference is, but there's a difference. But as I've been adding this, the wire's starting to turn purple like this one. It never did that before. It always just stayed like copper looking. Uh, I'm not getting jetters that are shooting out like light and fluffy. I'm getting close clumped up nuggets like this one, which I feel like this stuff is better. This seed ranch, I got it on Amazon, 10 pound bag uh, for, for many reasons, because uh, it's, this one was actually producing more in the same time period. You're getting little close clumped up like heavy nuggets so it's not shooting out underneath the wood as fast so you can let it go longer in between having to screw with it and i've been on the same negative terminal this entire time i've never had to change the negative terminal because you can get most of the copper right off this one i've had to change the negative terminal four times so don't use the home depot uh root killer use this seed ranch copper sulfate powder from amazon or seedranch.com, I don't know. But just go with that one. Or, you know, something similar. But, uh, you know, other than that, I definitely was making mistakes. You know, I was making things harder on myself. And, and I know that's why you guys were commenting. A bunch of you were, like, sending me stuff like, dude, dude. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a moron sometimes. You know what I mean? One thing I was doing though is I was taking the whenever you're topping up your fluids, don't don't pour it in this side. <laughs> Do not pour it in this side. Pour it in this side, and still pour it carefully because I, I've done it a few times where I caught myself and I'm pouring it in this side and then swish, and there goes all the muck. Right, and you know I have seen the micron bags. But uh, like I say, the, when this bar was sunk into that muck, it wasn't dissolving. The stuff that was in the muck wasn't dissolving. So I feel like you're going to get faster growth because it's all exposed. So the Micron bag, yeah, it might work. If you can find one big enough and still have room for that stuff to fall away. But I couldn't find one. So I feel like the key, the key to all of this, especially if you want to try to save money and not have to buy a, a, a pump, and glassware which i think this is superior like you're going to get better results if you can really purify and keep things clean but i don't think you necessarily need to go this route if you get the hand pump and try your best not to disturb that muck just leave it down in that corner 
and then you could probably just pump this stuff off and you could probably get away with this a one gallon fermenting flask a wide mouth funnel and a coffee filter would probably get you close enough to do this and not spend an extra 350 bucks on glassware and a strong pump and membrane filters but uh yeah i i'm just i'm gonna continue to try to keep, do things to the best of my ability right keep it as pure as clean as possible so i have it i'm gonna use it but i do have it dialed in pretty good so i just wanted to like make an update for anybody who's actually trying to do this method at home you know uh basically you know now i've i've filtered fluids i don't have to touch fluids for two weeks and uh i just harvested so yeah i won't have to harvest for this entire working week so it's sunday i'll revisit this on friday other than that i just come in here once a day check fluid levels adjust voltages and and i'm gone you know not much else to do besides distill water a couple times a week but yeah it's going good we have uh 12.2 pounds pure copper crystal i'm just going to keep doing that and it seems like we're going to pretty much dissolve not all of it but basically four of these bars in a little over two weeks will be down to about nothing so we're gonna just i'm gonna continue to do this and then at the end maybe we'll melt that down and then reprocess it one more time but i honestly see the day where i run out of copper to do this and i just don't have any more and i'll have to pack this stuff up and put it away until the next time i have enough to make it worth doing this again so probably next video will be uh definitely melting some more pure copper boolean bars so hopefully that's helpful if uh you know any of you guys are trying to do this and uh yeah i definitely appreciate the comments because it definitely kind of slapped me around into a at least think a little bit you know and try to make things better so much appreciated but anyways guys make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up see you later